Welcome to step 11, IDS and IPS. IDS equals Intrusion Detection Service, which is designed to detect malicious actions that might occur on the network. IPS is Intrusion Prevention Service, which is designed to prevent malicious actions from occurring on our network. For modern implementations, we almost always deal with IPS, which prevents malicious actions and also logs each incident where malicious action has been prevented. So we will not deal with IDS here. IPS can be either network-based, NIPS, or host-based. HIPS. Network-based monitors the entire network for malicious traffic by analyzing all TCP IP traffic entering the network. Host-based HIPS monitors a single host for malicious activity, usually for unauthorized changes. NIPS requires that IPS be installed on an appliance at the network perimeter, such as on a firewall. HIPS requires that IPS be installed on every host that requires protection. Usually it's only installed on specific servers. IPS detection can be signature-based or anomaly-based. With signature-based, there will be one signature for every exploit that it is capable of preventing. The signature works by zeroing in on some unique aspect of the particular exploit that is always present for that exploit. With anomaly-based, the system looks for signs of abnormal traffic and assumes that the abnormal traffic is malicious. Both signature-based and anomaly-based systems have their pros and cons. Signature-based pros, low false positives. Signature-based cons can only detect exploits for which a signature exists, so signatures must constantly be updated. Anomaly-based pros does not need to be constantly updated. Anomaly-based cons, high false positives. Most modern IPS are primarily signature-based employed in a physical security appliance. And this is recommended for the needs of the majority of networks. Signature-based IPS can be deployed in a physical security appliance, such as a firewall, that sits on the perimeter of your network. You will need to obtain a subscription from the vendor to keep your signatures up to date. Generally, the signatures update automatically on a daily basis, similar to that of antivirus. That is the end of this lecture. Thank you very much for watching.